Hey guys, I have the Presto valve on the uh, wheel of my bicycle. And in this video I want to show you how to remove the core of one of these valves. So as you can see, when you try to remove the nut, then you're going to find out really quickly that you can't really unscrew this all the way. And all we need to do in order to remove this is just use some pliers. Uh, but in general, I would suggest to first remove the entire tube before we try this, because otherwise we're going to, or it's very likely to actually bend the um, core. So the first thing I am going to do is remove the entire tube. So now this is a lot easier. So as I said before, uh, you can take this nut off uh, with some pliers. So I'm going to use a couple of rotations. Uh, well, first you go as far as you can with your hand, and then you're going to use the pliers uh, to just get over these uh, the hump that you feel there. So basically you have to like cut into the, the metal into the core and uh, cut a new thread in there. So it's going to take a couple of revolutions and then eventually you'll be able to remove the entire nut. Then you have to be careful because, well, the core does not come out ever. So you can't pull it out. The only way it can be removed is inward. So you have to push it in. And before you try this, you should make sure that the core is still perfectly straight. So when you were trying to remove the nut, uh, make sure you didn't accidentally bend the core otherwise it will be kind of hard to first get the core into the inside of the tube and it will be even worse to later uh, pull it back into the valve so make sure it's nice and straight and then when you want to try to push the core into the tube make sure you're going to catch it with your fingers uh, otherwise it may just get lost in there and uh, depending on the size or length of the core you may have to use like a small nail to push the core into the inside of the tube and then make sure you use your fingers of your other hand to uh, kind of catch that core. So you see I'm using this nail uh, to push the core into the inside. And then eventually you're going to catch it here. So now you can see it poking through the rubber. See the, the you know, the inside or the inner part of the core that's going to be a little bit thicker and that's why uh, you can't pull the entire core out of the out of the uh, valve so and now you don't want to lose this accidentally i mean it's not a super big deal if you lose this in there inside of the tube you can always fish it back and kind of squeeze it back into the right location uh, but it's easier if you just kind of use something to pinch the core into position so that you don't lose it and that makes it a lot easier to put the core back into the valve later on. And now you can do just whatever you want to do. For example, I was planning on putting some uh, of that slime through the valve into the tube so that I don't have any more problems with flat tires in the future. And then once you're done with that task, then uh, you have to feed the core back here into the valve. Make sure it's nice and clean in there in case you use some slime. Try to clean it out otherwise it's going to be messy and it's going to be hard to get the valve core actually in there and then just feed it back feed the core back into the hole through the hole and as long as the core is still nice and straight what i suggested to check earlier then it's just going to fall right through you can catch it here and make sure to kind of pinch it with one finger so that it doesn't go back in when you're trying to put the nut back on so you're going to do this first with your other hand Give it a couple of revolutions until the uh, nut gets stuck again. And then at that point you have to uh, use those pliers again. So give it a couple of revolutions with that. And then eventually it's going to be really easy to uh, turn again. And then you can tighten the nut again with your fingers. And so now we can uh, inflate the tire again and pull it back together. And that's already it. I you know, hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.